Hey everyone, I got a new microphone, so I'm like a professional YouTuber right now. And I also have some new things going on in this tank that I'm very excited about. Got some stylish new rocks right here and some vels in the background. I think this adds a little bit more life to the tank without being too over the top. I knew from the beginning of setting this up that I didn't want to have 20 different species of plants in here. I'm keeping it to just the, the few that I have right now. Hopefully not much more. Main thing I wanted to talk about is the new fish that I got. It is an Epistogramma borelli, also known as an umbrella cichlid. And I'm going to stick to calling it umbrella cichlid because I'm not 100% confident that I'm pronouncing the scientific name correctly. So umbrella cichlid it is. I traveled 75 miles to get this fish because there's no good fish stores in my area at a place called Fishy Business in Farmington, Michigan. If you live in Michigan, I'd recommend going there. It's a very good place, lots of variety. I went knowing that I wanted a South American dwarf cichlid that would go well in my current setup and not much else. I went in with a very open, open mind and I just kind of looked at what they had and they didn't have much left because of the holiday. The owner told me that he could get a get pretty much anything that I wanted. And I said, no, I'm going for instant gratification here. And I picked up the last umbrella cichlid that they had. So here he is, he's been in here for, he, I'm calling it, I don't know for sure. But um, he's been here for a couple of days, still alive, still doing well. Regardless if it's male or female, it's going to look really cool once it colors up. This is a young one, so you can't really tell. The owner believes it was a male, but the males have like kind of a blue color and then with a little bit of yellow. And then I think the females are kind of like the opposite. They have like a lot of yellow with a little bit of blue or something like that. But I was looking for something that was a different color than the other fish. The, the schooling fish. I, I like to have like kind of a centerpiece fit, centerpiece fish that stands out against the others, and then um, like those colors will will really help it do that. And if it does well, I'll probably end up getting a pair. I'm a little concerned about it because I haven't seen it eat much yet. It's kind of shy. It doesn't really get into like the whole like feeding frenzy. The quarries are really messy eaters so I thought that they would stir up the, the like little fragments of food enough and like kick them out into the water column so the the cichlid would come by and pick them up but it, I haven't seen it that happen yet so next step I'm, is I'm gonna start crushing the pellets and see where that goes and after that maybe I'll try frozen or, or live foods. Since I'm feeding a little more than I normally would, trying to get this fish to eat, I'm monitoring my water quality closely and I want to keep up on water changes. I've read that umbrella cichlids don't like large water changes, so I'm kind of trying to stay ahead of the game and do frequent small water changes. I'm going to do five to 10% a day until I figure out that I can get away with less. My goal is to have this tank around five parts per million nitrate. I think that's a pretty healthy level for a planted tank. There's enough there for the plants, but then like it's not enough to stress the fish out. And right now it is more than that, but not terrible. So I wanna keep it not terrible. So that's all I have for today. Like, subscribe, Hit the bell icon and all that. Thanks for watching. Bye.